find all points where the tangent line to f of x equal to sine of x is equal to square root of 3 over 2 and minus square root of 2 over 2. So for the first case, square root of 3 over 2, what are we trying to do here? We want the slope of the tangent line. The way we get that is take the derivative of our function, evaluate it at our point. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So what we're trying to do here is find all points where the cosine of x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Here, we'll just find the ones that are between 0 and 2 pi. So what do we do first? Well, what is cosine? Cosine is the x value on the unit circle. So we're looking here at the points on the line, x equal to square root of 3 over 2, that intersect the unit circle. All right, so we get our two points. How do we get those? Well, square root of 3 over 2, that goes with either pi thirds or pi sixths. So we just need to determine which one we're going to use. Now, since I'm talking about cosine, the x value, if that's equal to square root of 3 over 2, we're looking at the bigger cosine there. Square root of 3 over 2 is roughly 0.87. So here, we're going to be looking at the shorter angle of pi sixths or pi thirds. So in the first quadrant, our answer is going to be pi over 6. If I want to wind up in the fourth quadrant for our other point, that's going to be the point 11 pi 6. So that's going to be our answer. Let's take a look at the graph. So here, you'll notice we're looking for slope equal to square root of 3 over 2. That's a positive number. So at our points pi 6 and 11 pi 6, we expect our slope to be slanted in this direction. If you take a look at the tangent lines that I've drawn in on the graph, here and here, you'll note that's about what we're looking for. All right, let's try minus square root of 2 over 2. So in this case, we just want the cosine equal to minus square root of 2 over 2. Cosine's our x value in the unit circle, and we know that square root of 2 over 2 goes with multiples of pi fourths. So in this case, we want the multiples of pi fourth in second quadrant and third quadrant. So that's going to be 3 pi fourths and 5 pi fourths if we're only looking between 0 and 2 pi. So that's going to be our answer. Let's check the graph again. So we'll notice if we draw in our tangent lines, the points 3 pi fourths and 5 pi fourths, so they're going to be on each side of pi. We're going to have our slope going in this direction. And since we have a negative slope, it's going to have to go that way. So this looks like it's probably correct. 